Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Sunny T. Right back at you with another podcast for marketers exclusive. Now, I want you to go to Cheeseburger Nation for my podcast, Stealthy Millionaire on Instagram, YouTube. It's podcast for marketers and billionaire vids on Snapchat, billionaire vid without the S on Twitter, podcast for marketers.com for your free MP3 player. You got to pay for your fucking shipping, right? And I have a kick ass SMMA course over there that's kicking Ty Lopez's right in the old britches. You can see all of those links down below in the description and the first comment as well. Go to funnelhackerpro.com for my Facebook group. It's kick ass, man. Dudes are over there making big progress. Smash. That thumbs up, man. I want you to break your fucking mouth, man. <laughs> if you like this video, man, make sure you comment below. Let me know, man. I want to know what you guys think on these videos, man. I really enjoy the comments. I like talking to each and every one of you. And we have a really cool community going over there. So sub, fuck him, subscribe to this channel. If you like the content, I do videos Every day, nonstop. I'll never stop. Boom. Hey, okay, guys. So now we are on number, sunny summer tip number 15, okay? And today, what I want to talk to you about is your dream client, right? And here's a mistake that I've made before, um, and I don't want you to make the same mistake. And you need to look and find out who exactly you want to work with. This is huge because if you start working with people that you don't like, you're not going to provide them the service that you want. So before you start, and this doesn't take a lot of time, this is something that you can do during the summer that won't take away from your everyday activities. That's what these tips are for. If you're just now starting this, you need to rewind and go to tip number one, okay? And I did make a nice little playlist for you guys so you can... Go through the tips one by one. And I mean, you don't have to go through it sequentially, but the reason why I'm giving you these tips is these are the quick, actionable things that you can do during the summertime and not take up your own, your entire summer. But I want to keep you guys focused um, about your business. During summer, we can lose our focus. And at the end of the summer, we're pissed off because we didn't get anywhere near our goals that we want to have. And actually we've dug ourselves in a hole, spending more money than we were supposed to. Yada, yada, yada. You know how it goes. So now how do we get our dream client, right? First of all, we want to ask ourselves, who is our dream client? Who's that person to us? For a lot of things, for a lot of people, it's some, somebody different or whatever, right? But, you know, is he a doctor? Does he like fishing? Okay. Um, is, you know, uh, is he athletic? Okay. How old is he? Is he, you know, between 25 and 45 years old? Um, is he married? Okay. Um, does he own his home? You know, these are all things that you want to line up and you want to look at this person and you want to say, you know, this is the person that I want to look, you know, want to, I want to, you know, I want to, I want to work with somebody that likes advertising and he's not some, you know, free, free, you know, freebie dude or he's some SEO guy. I want somebody that understands that advertising produces results and he wants a direct response. OK, I want you know, I don't want some guy that doesn't believe in advertising at all. And he's just got the A frame in front of his office or whatever. Right. Um, I do want somebody that likes to go outdoors and is athletic and takes care of themselves um, because I want to just try to hang around like-minded people and I need to exercise more, okay? Um, you know, 25 to 45, um, maybe my client, my dream client or your dream client will be a little bit older than that, you know? You want somebody serious about business. So maybe your dream client is, um, you know, between the ages of, 35 and 65 years old. He's already been in business for a while. Um, you know, that's kind of somebody I would like, somebody that already has a business, clearly, right? Uh, and somebody that just wants to kind of level up, okay? So now this is kind of like my dream client here. 
Um, you know, somebody that's married, he has a family to support. He's serious about his business. It isn't, you know, fly by night. Okay. And, you know, just these things here, you know, somebody that's outdoorsy. Um, and, you know, he owns his own home. You know, he's, he's serious. You know, he's a leader. And so then I would give this person a name and actually make a persona, right? And so now once we find out, you know, who it is, the next thing we want to know is where do they hang out? So now it's where, okay? And so now we need to find out where do they hang out online? This is the most important thing because we want to be able to be able to contact these people and everybody turns to Facebook and Although that might be true, there's also online forms as well, right? And you can advertise on these online forms even cheaper than you can on Facebook. So where do they actually hang out in line? How can I find my dream client, right? Where do they, you know, maybe all they maybe not hang out in line at all. Maybe they just do, you know, mixers. Maybe they do meetups and you need to go to meetups to meet these people, right? So you need to find out where they hang out, okay? And the biggest thing that you need to, to know is that once you find them, right, and you um, you know who they are and you, you've written it up, if I were you, I would get a little picture and name him, you know, name, this is Peter, and get a, you know, just Google Peter and get the first picture, and this, <laughs> this is who Peter is, and do a woman one, uh, do one for a woman and do one for a man, Okay. And now we want to find out where they hang out. Now, how do we get these people to leave? And I'm going to use Facebook as an example because um, this is, you know, where everybody is now. How do we get everybody to leave Facebook and come talk to you, right? And that's what's really important. And you have to have some, uh, you know, obviously we have to have bait. So you need to have a kick-ass piece of bait to get them to leave. But the first thing I want you to do before we get into how to position ourselves with bait is I want you, your tip for this, your exercise for this tip is just to find and draw out your dream client, right? So let's go ahead and do a recap, okay? And what I want you to do, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to ask who is my dream client? And I want you to write down, I want you to write down the perfect person that you want to work with. If, you know, you would work with this person all day, every day. If it's somebody like, let's say, for instance, Richard Branson, then write that shit down, you know. If it's uh, Playboy models, right? I want to work with Playboy models. Then write that down. And you need to write down exactly what it is that you want. Be specific, of who you want it to be, the gender, the age, the whole nine yards. Because if that's who you want to work with, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you really want to work with Playboy models, then you don't want to start attracting men. You want to repel men, right? So that's the importance of this. After you write down who, I want you to find out where they hang out, okay? Okay. And I'm not going to I'm not going to really take you any further than that for this particular tip. But once you find out who they are, right? And then you find out where they hang out, you have a good idea of who your dream client is and how to get a hold of them. This is just a short exercise. To be honest with you, it shouldn't really take you more than a couple of days to really draw up who it is that you want it to be and then some quick Google searches, search through the Facebook groups and go find your dream client. Find out when you find them, you're like, man, this is the pocket of them right here. You're going to know this Facebook group and this online forum and this meetup. These are the people that I want to contact, right? And we'll get into later on how to bait those people and get them away from those places to come check out your services or your products or your client services or products. This all works for a social media marketing agency, folks. It's just that when you look up your dream client and where they hang out, when you finally get that client, you're going to have to do the work again. You have to double up and you're going to, because a lot of times the client won't know 
who his dream client is. And so that's the one of the questions that you could ask that would be different than most of these social media marketer dudes out here. You know, who's your dream client? Are you already working with your dream client? Who are the people that you want to work with the most? And then we go through that with the client themselves and say, who is it that you want to work with and where do they hang out? So we can start getting you people in here that you want to work with because they may not know that that's what they were supposed to do. Remember, these people are professionals. So if you, you know, we'll take my uh, fictitious doctor again. I like him so much. Um, we'll take Dr. Crack Your Back, right? And Dr. Crack Your Back is a uh, chiropractor. Now, he went to school for about six years, actually 10, because he, um, uh, let's see, chiropractors don't have to go for eight years, but they do have to have a four-year degree. So they've got eight years of school in. a matter of fact, they have six years. It's it's two year. They need a um, a two year degree, and then they go to chiropractic school for three. So that's actually like five. Okay, so uh, yeah, something like that. So Doctor Crack Your Back spent that much time going to school. He's not a marketer, and that's the problem with a lot of uh, professionals is they want to market their own business because in class. They went through some parts of that about how to market their business, how to set up their funnels, how to get people in and do a continuity program. But they're not full on marketers like you and I are. Right. So Dr. Crack Your Back is not may not be working with his dream client. Maybe his chiropractic clients aren't, you know, coming from the ambulance chaser lawyer dude, but he would much rather be working with people between the ages of athletic people between the ages of 45 and 65 that jog, ride bikes and swim, but they need adjustments and wellness treatment, you know, for, you know, the their life. And that's just who he wants to deal with. And he doesn't really want to deal with car uh, accidents and going to court and doing this type of shit right so find out who dr crack your back's dream client is and we might have to do a little bit of work here so that's your homework and that's your tip for this summer break (sighs) 